Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing is my hometown track, Penn National Race Course, Grandville, Pennsylvania, on Tuesday evening, August the 2nd. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks. 7 28 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up, race for an optional claiming purse of some $34,000. Contenders number four, oh so clever. Number three, listen in. Number five, all bets off. And number one, single scoop. Number four, oh so clever, comes off back to back to back. Power run wins it. Her last three starts, jockey Angel Rodriguez was in her iron. So those three wins en route to a positive 183% return on investment in the process. Back tonight for his fourth ride, gunning for a Grand Slam win. Number three, listen in, a 5-1 to one mm -hmm. shot, drops in class by six units, comes off a power run win her last time out. Race five summary, number four, oh so clever, tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, listen in, number five, all bets off, and number one, single scoop, four, three, five, one in the fifth from Penn National. <laughs> Bonus long shots, Presque Isle Downs, race seven, the four to one shot, number eight, she's my little man, qualifies as a trackmaster plus power pony. Drops in class by five units, won six of 12 in her career to date in dirt sprints. Finger Lakes Race Course, race six, the five to one shot. Number six, goodbye and good luck. Drops in class by five units, nice overall speed abilities for this six for a long sprint. So from Penn National on a Tuesday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.